I'm here with Herb Chambers, really personifies cars and cars ownership. Uh, really one of the king of classic cars as well. Um, Herb, thanks for joining us, really appreciate it. Well, thanks a lot, I appreciate you guys coming. Uh, this is a show that we really look forward to because there's such a vast variety of automobiles here. And there's hot rods and then there's classic cars and uh, I have a tremendous passion for automobiles. Obviously I'm in the business, but there are people in the business that aren't crazy about it. I am. And um, I personally collect cars. Um, the Ferrari over here, the La Ferrari is mine. And, um, I just think it's a great exposure for people to see uh, the automobile industry for what it truly is, and it's an amazing business. So. Well, absolutely, and I think you know the fact that you're behind something that's here in the in the gar uh, public uh, garden, and that uh, more people really can see this and, and see the cars that you're, you're that are new as well as the the older cars is uh, is significant. It's it's different than what the majority of the industry does. It is. We also do I think five or six cars and coffee events at various dealerships around the Boston area. And we do it, I think, starting in May, and there's six or seven shows. And not something where you go to, to win a trophy or something like that. It's just you want to be with people that enjoy the same things that you do. And uh, I love going over there because it's fun to talk to people and ask them how long they've had the car, where did they get it from, what did they have to do to it. And uh, it's it's a, it's a thrilling uh, environment for me. Absolutely. So. If, if, uh, if you had to pick just one car, what would it be? If you could only have one car, what car would it be out of your collection? Uh, a 1972 Ferrari Daytona Spider, ah. which is a convertible. That's you right. You know that. Yep, yeah. yep. So is that, is that the first Ferrari, or is that there's something special about that one? No, it's one that I wrecked a long time ago, and Wayne Carini from Chasing Classic Cars found it in California. And he and I went out, and I purchased the car, and he restored it for me. So I love that automobile. I remember that episode. That was a great episode. You saw it, and boom, you were on it. That yeah. was it. Immediately you wanted it. Well, well I was afraid somebody else might buy it. So <laughs> There you go. Anyhow, thanks for the opportunity to speak with you. Well, thanks so much for, uh, okay. for supporting the event and, and talking to us at Classic Drive Television. Thanks so okay. much. Thanks.